I look really, really weird because I only have one eye done. But um, I'm back with my second Christmas video. And I'm really excited to be filming this. I changed the background a little bit. It doesn't look any different, but my mirror showing. Um, it is actually different. It used to be solid white, and now it's like white with like blue, blue and gray. Um, dots. <laughs> it's just a little different. I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. So we're just going to kind of roll with it until I figure it out because I honestly have no idea. Um, but yeah, I'm doing my second Christmas video of 2017. I'm really excited. I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday and I couldn't get a whole lot of fall videos up because I ran out of time and then my account got hacked. So Christmas is my time to redeem myself. So I did a green, all completely green eyeshadow look um, this week. I think it went up this week. I filmed it last week, so it probably should, it probably went up this week. I think it went up December fourth. I'm not entirely sure. It is the sixth today filming this. Um, so today I'm doing a gold look, and honestly, this could be worn for any holiday, any event, absolutely any time anywhere because it's just so versatile and I'm using my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette the Too Faced Chocolate Bar um because it's my all-time favorite and I wanted to just pull it out I didn't know exactly what look I wanted to do today I actually already did my face makeup if you couldn't tell I actually remembered to put on bronzer and contour today although I don't look that different <laughs> um it is on and I have two lip options for you today and they're both drugstore, which is really cool. I don't think I've worn a drugstore lip in a hot minute. My videos I probably have, but I think in person, like in real life, I've been wearing um, my Stila like, lipsticks a lot. So, yeah, I think the only thing in this pal, uh, pal <laughs> the only thing in this video today that is not drugstore is the palette, and it's my absolute favorite. So, subscribe to my channel before you leave, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I already primed my eye and set it and everything. I did the eyebrows, all that jazz. So we are ready to move in. My brushes keep trying to roll away. Return to your assigned seat. Today, uh, we are going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is my absolute favorite eyeshadow palette of all time. And now they actually print the names on the palette, but I've had mine for a hot minute. About two years. Yeah, about two years, so I had a little slick slip, but they do print them now on the palette. And Too Faced is my favorite eyeshadows to work with. They're just my absolute favorite. This is my first high-end palette. This is actually like my first actual palette, and I still have it, and I am obsessed with it. I love it, and if you look closely, I dug my fingernail into that when I had acrylics, and I'm like, oh no. I was actually, speaking of that, off topic, but I was actually going to paint my nails today, and if you follow me on Snapchat, you know why I didn't. Oh, my nail polish leaked and molded and it was gross. So this is what, this is what we are going to be working with today. So I'm going to take just one of these brushes and I'm going to take the shade, what's this called? Milk Chocolate, which is this one whoop, right here. And I'm actually going to put that all in my crease, like everywhere. It doesn't have to be perfect. This look is actually kind of messy. Once that is on, and I will continue to blend throughout this entire video, I'm going to put the exact same shade on the lower lash line. A salted caramel, which is this one right here. This is one of my favorite colors in the entire palette. I'm just going to lightly put that like right on top and above that milk chocolate color just to bring some warmth into the look. I'm just going to put salted caramel on the lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to take this um, angled brush. It doesn't have a name on it. And I'm going to take the shade Triple Fudge. I have to keep looking at the sheet, which is this one right here. And I'm going to take this, and this is going to look like a hot mess for a minute. So just bear with me. I'm going to put this on the outer edge and drag inward about halfway. And then I'm going to take a different brush and start flicking it up and blend upwards. And it will look like a mess, but you just gotta work with it, I promise. 
now that's on it looks really weird i'm going to take this brush it's actually this brush is actually kind of pointy so i wouldn't recommend using a brush shape like this it's kind of like a dome and i'm going to start flicking upwards with this but then i'm going to switch to this brush and blend it out a little bit better now i'm going to take the shade creme brulee which is this one right here it's the gold in here and i'm going to pack that all over my lid Okay, now that that is on, we're going to go back in with Triple Fudge, and we're going to darken that up a bit. I couldn't remember what I wanted to say. Now I'm going to re-intensify that creme brulee color. Now I'm going to take the shade White Chocolate, which is this one right here, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. I actually already did this after I uh, primed my eyelid, but... I like blended it all away. So I'm just gonna re redo it. And then I'm going to highlight my inner corner using Champagne Truffle, which is the um, shimmery one. You can kind of see it by turn. And I love this. I don't know what I was going with that, but I love this color. I'm gonna highlight my inner corner. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. And I love it, but I have to get kind of close to my mirror. So if I crop this out, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Curlers low-key look like torture weapons and they kind of hurt if you don't do it right. Now I'm going to put on some eyeliner and triple fudge across my lower lash line to like blend it out a little bit. This is the CoverGirl Lip Line Blast eyeliner and it doesn't have like a color name but it's just brown so hopefully uh, I can find it. <laughs> it's just a brown eyeliner. It's nothing too interesting. Now I'm going to put mascara on my lower lashes. That way I don't look so weird. Lip time! My hair is a mess. Um, my hair is always a mess. I mean, honestly, what's new? The first lip I want to do is a nude lip. Honestly, this eye look could go with absolutely anything. Like, it could go with a green lip or a purple lip. But I'm going to do nude and, like, a wineish red color. Because, I don't know, that's what I was feeling today. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paint in the shade... Spicy Blush 315, and I got this as a sample from Ulta, and I love it. This is the first lips, lips option, lip option. I love it like this. It's like super simple, like a really nice everyday type look. Okay, lip option number two is the e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Wine. These are really, really nice. Okay, my application's absolutely terrible with this color, but mine uh, has melted and it was really hard to work with. But when they're new, I promise they're really nice. Um, This is the look with the second lip option. I think I like it better with the second lip option, to be honest. I think it's just, I don't know, it makes the gold pop a little bit more. So. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next video.